Hey guys! So I am excited today, and the reason why I'm excited is pretty obvious. It's standing right in front of you. I had a little haul trip to Michael's and um, bought some things for my birthday party. And so this bag is full of paint and art supplies and birthday stuff. And so here it is. Quite a bit of things. I bought a bunch of acrylic paint from Artist Loft because I'm doing a project. Um, one of the activities for my birthday is going to be where each of my friends paints a little something on this ginormous canvas that I bought and then I can keep that as a little memento um, yeah that everybody had a hand in and I also bought this is not part of my birthday thing but I saw one of these eraser shields in a YouTube video and I thought it was a great idea to keep eraser from getting where I don't want it to get so I bought that it was really cheap, just a dollar in some sense. <laughs> and then I bought little gift bags for party favors. Um, which brings me to... And yes, I bought paintbrushes. But anyways, brings me to this, which is what this video is going to be about. I have one more of these, but I couldn't find it. But what these are going to be is my party favors. They're little tiny canvases, um, just two inches by two inches, and I'm gonna paint little miniature things on them and put them in the bag to serve as party favors. So here we go. I'm really excited to start this because it's gonna be so much fun. So for those of you who did not see on Instagram, I turned 18 years old, so I am officially an adult, and that is very scary because I don't know how to be an adult, but you know, I'll get the hang of it. <laughs> I have quite a long time to get the hang of being an adult, so that part is taken care of. Um, so this is the first one. I did my cupcake drawing that is my logo on Instagram and it has kind of become my logo just in general. And so I just started with that one and I believe this one is probably what took the most time. Um, there were a few others that took a long time but this might have taken the most time since it was the first one and of course I wanted everything to look perfect and um, yeah. But I really, really was excited when I saw these at Michael's and got the idea to make these the party favors because all my friends know I'm an artist, so it was perfect, it's something small, and um, it was just perfect, it worked out amazingly. And um, I also got the idea to start selling these, so as soon as possible, maybe even when I post this video, I will post up on Etsy um, offering you know many uh, paintings for sale and I'm not totally sure what the price will be yet um, probably somewhere somewhere between ten to twenty dollars uh, just cuz some take a lot longer than others and some take barely any time at all so um, I'll let you guys know on Instagram as soon as I have that up and then I will of course leave it in the description below um, I'll leave the link down there so the cupcake was first and now is a Pokeball because all my friends are nerds and that's okay, nerds rock guys. And um, so I of course had to draw a Pokeball and I love Pokemon Go anyway so it was perfect. It's a perfect little painting to do um, and it was pretty easy as well. I definitely got a lot of use out of my tiny paint brushes for this for these series of paintings. Um, the one I'm using, not the one I'm using right now, but um, one of them, I actually messed up and instead of coming to a point, it now curves and the bristles are a little bit separated from each other. So while it's not a huge difference, it makes a big difference whenever you're working in such a small scale. So I'm probably going to have to go to the store and pick up another one of those. But um, definitely guys, small brushes are a very good thing to have if you're into painting and you need to get those small details because a big brush just really won't cut it. So there's that one. So that's two down and a lot more to go. 
And so I started actually painting the background on these before finishing the one that I was currently working on. Um, just because I realized how many I actually had to do in such a short period of time, which was about a week. And um, with school going on, I couldn't really do a whole lot at a time. So actually, on the day of my party, I started cramming in. Um, I probably crammed in like 15 that day, starting in starting at 12 and then going almost straight to my party, which was at 7.30. So, yes, definitely did a lot of cram time. So there's another one that I'm painting the background on, so that gives it a chance to dry. And I don't know if anybody can tell right now what the red one is, the red and white one is, um, but it is from a show called The Miraculous Ladybug, and I actually did a collab that that was the theme of a while ago, last year, not sure how long ago it was, but you can, I'm sure you can find it in my videos if you go down far enough. Um, but it's a really cute show, and my friend Sabrina likes it, so this, this character's name is Tiki, and they're really small, and small canvas, so it made sense to me, made perfect sense that she is, um, a good thing to paint on this tiny little canvas. Um, her eyes were very frustrating. Uh, they're finished, pretty much finished now, but I kept like having to go back over it. Like I would put, I would put the pupil on and then put white over it, but then there was too much white, so I'd add some more color to the pupil and then there'd be too much color and then I'd go back and add white and then I need to fix the highlights. And so yeah, that <laughs> took a while, even though it looked really fast in this time lapse. Um, so to make it more interesting, I added little dots all around, and it is called the show is called Miraculous Ladybug. So, ladybugs are pretty famously known for their dots. So this is like number three. So three down, and I think I actually ended up doing 22 of these. So three down, 19 to go. Here is number four, and this one took a very short time, and it's one of my favorites. Um, the background, of course, I did previously, so that definitely helped cut down on some time. But just the overall uh, concept and structure of it was very, very easy to do. And I love crystals, and I love the colors that I was that I used in this piece. So it's one of my favorite ones, and I definitely need to do a lot more of these because they were so easy to do. Number five. Um, I love the background in this, and it was kind of, it kind of reminded me of, like, a garden, and so I was going to do a fence, and then maybe a garden in the background, but I just decided to make it a little bit more focused on something, and decided to do this flower vase, and that is kind of low-key supposed to be a mason jar, or at least it was, but then I gave up on making it a mason jar, and it's just a regular jar. Here's number six. This one is another one that took a while to do because there's a lot of details and you can almost tell what it is by now. And now, you can probably most definitely tell what it is with that famous star in the middle. It is Captain America's shield. And the reason that I did this one is because, of course, it's another perfect little drawing that is recognizable, um, but also easy to fit on a tiny canvas. Um, but the other reason I did this is because my sister really, really, really loves Captain America. I do too. But whenever I did my super realistic Captain America uh, Civil War picture, she really liked the shield in that picture and wanted me to do just a picture of a shield, just draw a picture of a shield for her. So I haven't done that yet, so I thought this would make a good opportunity to give her what she wants.
And now number seven. So when I first did the background for this, um, while I was doing the Captain America shield, I honestly did not know what I wanted to do. I just knew that I liked the color. But then once I got to it, the color was exactly, almost exactly at least, like the color on Steven Universe's shirt in the show Steven Universe. And my friend Daniel loves the show, and he's the one that got me into it. So, um... I drew Steven Universe's shirt with his with the star on it. It's very recognizable for those who know the show at least. Um, and the color, like I said, it was just the perfect match. So that's the first thing that I thought of when I moved onto this canvas. Um, so to make it easier, to make the yellow more visible, I added a white layer of the star first. And it was a bit hard to get the shape right since I was just going ahead and painting it instead of doing it with pencil first. But once I figured out the shape, um, then I was ready to do the yellow, and here it is right now. Um, and the yellow just stands out so much better when I put down the white layer, instead of just going ahead with the yellow. And number eight, I started out with the paintbrush, I mean the toothbrush technique on this to add little speckled stars everywhere. Um, I used a metallic black paint as the background, and I did like how it looked, but I also kind of don't like how it reflects everything because um, I just don't think it looks good whenever the light reflects off of it. So, yeah, if it weren't for that, I would really, really like this painting, but it just reflects, and then the paint that I put over it doesn't reflect, so it kind of gives it a weird look. Number nine, I feel like I've lost count, but I think this is number nine. Originally, I wanted to do a kind of drippy look, like with watercolor, but it didn't work too well, so I ended up just putting a bunch of color on there and ended up with this little light blue. And this is for a friend who likes music, so originally it was just going to be a music note, but then I thought the background looks like there could be a castle in the foreground. I don't know how I got to that, but it just seemed like that to me. So here's the castle, um, and this painting was very blue. That's pretty much the only color I used besides some white. And so put some music notes in there to keep with the original idea I had, but the castle just makes it more interesting. So that's number nine. I think, and I have to keep saying this to myself or else I will for certain lose track and I'll have to go back to the beginning and start counting and I'd rather not do that. So nine down and let's see, 13 to go. I knew exactly what I wanted this painting to be as soon as I put down the yellow background. Um, just a nice sunset scene in a desert, um, and I used white for the sun, so it makes it look like it's actually glowing, and then put um, a brown, a pretty much brown, a little bit red foreground in front of it, and it's a nice desert scene, and a lot of these I did personalize to the person I was giving them to, but near the end I realized, you know, I can't personalize all these, I don't have time. So I just started doing some nice paintings. I even brought in some abstract later on. Um, let's see, that was number 10. So number 11 now. This one is another personalized one, but it was pretty simple, so I thought I could just go ahead and do it. I'd be fine. My friend Bryce, he also has a YouTube channel on here, so shout out to him. I will leave his YouTube channel, which is called Avenger Vasty, in the link below. But anyways, he is um, a diorama artist. Like he makes dioramas of from scenes of scenes from comic books and stuff. So he's very much into um, like superheroes and stuff. So I did the Superman logo for him. And number 12, 
This is another personalized one for my best friend, Danila. Uh, there is a restaurant called Seasons 52 that she introduced me to. And they have the cutest little dessert cups. Like, they're in shot glasses. And so it's a small amount, so you can feel like you're being healthy. And But they're super cute. Like, they're adorable. Um, and so I chose to draw one of those little dessert glasses for her because it's something that it means something to both of us so that one is I believe like the mocha something or other anyways it's the one that I usually end up getting um now this one is an abstract one because again I mentioned before I was running out of time but I really 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 like this one it just gives a nice ocean feel to me and it was fun to do, to move around the paint, experiment, experiment with colors. And I was really happy with how it turned out. Here's painting number 14. I was on Instagram, just taking a break, scrolling through my feed, and I saw a cute little plant. I know it's really random, but I decided to draw a plant for this one. Um, so I drew the plant, you know, in a nice little pot, and thought it looked pretty simple. I guess I could have left it that way, but I decided to add a little bit more to the painting. So a blue border and some lights, and that is that. This one, if I'm going to be honest, is probably my least favorite. Um, I don't know. I, I guess some people might like it, and I really, really hope the person I gave it to liked it. Um, it was just kind of more muted colors, not as bright and colorful as my, as some of my other ones, and I'm usually all about adding tons of color, so that's probably why I didn't like it as much. But it's still okay. I still, you know, I'm still satisfied with it. Um, I love the crystal one so much that I decided to, know, to do another one. But this time I used a pink background and it was a bit harder to make the crystals look good because on the purple background they really stood out but on the pink one they blended in a little bit more. So I had to add a few more colors to make them actually stand out in the picture and not just be like a blob of white paint. I've totally lost count by now so number something is a candle and yeah. It's a candle. Look at it. It's cool. Okay, I went back and checked. This is number 18. Yay for me. Uh, I just decided to do a nice, simple little mountain scene. Very peaceful feeling. Um, added little purple flowers to make it a little bit more interesting. And a nice little cheery sun. And, yeah, this was near the end of, like, the day, so it was getting close to my party, so I was definitely rushing for these last few. Um, this one was inspired by one of my paintings in my Wonderland series, with little orbs on the blue background. Um, very simple, but I still like it. It makes a nice, tiny painting. Uh, so this one... Oh yeah, I have a friend, and his name is Kirby, and so what better painting to give him than a painting of Kirby? So here we go. Honestly, I've never played this video game, but it's just so cute, and I'm already in love with it. So, he looks so happy. So that was number 20, and I am so near to the end right now. Here's another repeat of one of my previous paintings, the ocean one. And this is for a guy who likes the color green, so I chose to make that one of the central colors of this piece. And again, I love it just as much as the last one. 
So if I sell these, which I will, I'll do a lot of those. Okay, this is the last one. And I had a good vision for this one, but it just did not work out how I wanted it to. I really didn't like it right there. So now I painted over it and kind of gave it an abstract ocean water look. And so it worked out with that piece. So here is my huge mess that I made. All the paintings scattered all over my desk and my paint everywhere and pins out and... Yeah, this is what my workspace usually looks like, to be honest. So here are the paintings, all finished in much better lighting than what I had before. I hate yellow light, but that's literally all I give you guys, and I'm so sorry. But that's why I always try to take a video of my pictures afterwards so you can actually see what they look like. So we are now at the end of the video, and I really, really appreciate all of those who watched it. Please don't forget to give it a like and a comment below, and don't forget to subscribe as well for more videos like these. Thank you so much for the support, everybody, and I will be back with another video next week. Also, don't forget to check the description below for a link on how to buy these. Thank you so much, guys, and I'll see you next time. Bye!